Unite beyond boundaries. Innovate together. Joe's Pank Ration 2024. No border. In Japan at 8, 6 a.m. So let's start my session. How to accelerate DDD practice using Amazon Q developer. I'm Masao Kanamori. Uh, I'm developer specialist solution architect in Japan. And today I'll talk about DDD and how Amazon Q developer can support DDD practice. Do you know what DDD is? DDD is a short form of domain-driven design. DDD is software design approach to reflect the business domain in the system. And DDD has many practice to build loose coupling high cohesion system. As a result, DDD support us to reduce complexity in large scale systems. It's very important for modern application development because our systems are becoming more larger and more complex. I don't have enough time to describe all about DDD today, so I'll focus only on the things that I need in my session. As this diagram shows, DDD uses the domain model to correctly reflect the business in the system. DDD has many practices, but at a high level, it can be divided into strategic design and tactical design. At first, I will introduce about strategic design. The goal of strategic design is finding a domain model and building a shared understanding between stakeholders. There are some practices like ubiquitous language and bounded context, and approaches like event storming and domain storytelling, etc. Strategic design is an important point of DDD, but today I will focus tactical design in my session. If you want to get support about strategic design, please reach out to the PACE team in your region. We are supporting customer by providing event storming workshop, etc. After finding the domain model, we can use tactical design to implement the domain model. There are also some practices and approaches, and my session focus point is here. I think there are some difficulties using tactical design, especially for beginner of application development or DDD. What is the difficulty of that? I will pick up three difficulties that I expect most beginners would encounter when applying tactical design. First, as I said before, there are too many practices in DDD. I think, difficulty, I think it's difficult to judge how and when those practices should be used. Secondly, where should we start coding? Of course, if your company has some coding guidelines or standards, or, you, you, if, or if you have access to an experienced senior members, they will be able to provide guidance. But you know, reality really bites. Usually, we don't have those ideal guidances. Third, I think usually you will use a web application framework to develop your system. You know, each web application framework has its own structure. Do you know how we can combine DDD practices and that framework? So, if you are a beginner of DDD and there are no one who can help you, how can you start? Amazon Q Developer is here to support you. Amazon Q Developer is AI code assistant service by AWS. It supports all of your development tasks, including building on AWS. It helps developers be more efficient, knowledgeable, and proficient by integrating seamlessly into the app development cycle. So let's start from result of event storming. This is a fictional auction web application for a sample. After event storming, we can find candidate aggregates as pink sticky notes with command represents as blue sticky notes and event as orange sticky notes. As the final step of event storming, we will discuss what business rules those aggregates should have. 
there are simple business rule like item can be listed to auction. And when item have already been listed on the other auction, it should be error. Of course, in real world, there are more complex rules. But for as a start point, it may be enough. Small start is good idea to start something new. You can add more business rule after. So let's start working with Amazon Q developer. You can use these natural sentences to create a prompt to generate a model. This is an example prompt to create a class diagram which represents the auction domain model. Amazon Q can generate plant UML DSL. To have Amazon Q use DDD practice, it is a good approach that you list the practice names in your prompt. Then Amazon Q will use those practices in the UMLs. When you get good classic diagram, you can let Amazon Q generate a sequence diagram for those scenarios too. When you are satisfied with those UMLs, you can ask Amazon Q to generate source code. I recommend to generate source code with test code. This code should be a good point to start your coding with DDD practices. So let's show the demo. In this demo, I use Visual Studio Code. So at first, open Amazon Q Developer extension. And let's ask Amazon Q Developer to generate class diagram. Okay, so now Amazon Q Developer is generating answer. Yes, okay, generating, oh, yes, yes. Okay, we got answer. Amazon Q Developer generate front UML code. Okay, and description of that diagram. Yes, it's description. So let's see diagram. We can copy code from answer and put this code.pu file this time. So now I'm generating class diam diagram images. Okay, looks good. So there are some DDD ideas in this class diagram. Next, let's create sequence diagram based on this class diagram. When you open the file, Amazon Q developer can use that file as a context. So this time I can refer the class diagram in my prompt. So like that. So in prompt, there are class diagram.pu. So, so Amazon Q developer can refer this file. And yes, I got answer. So let's copy and paste that and check it. Yeah, it's for sequence diagram file. So generating image. Okay, looks good. So there are application service, domain service, and using repository. It's famous pattern of DDD. We go to the UML. Next, let's generate code based on those diagrams. I asked Amazon Q developer to generate code based on sequence diagram. So Amazon Q developer is generating code Okay, the, he answered. Okay, so, and I also asked to generate test code. So after uh, code for domain model, we will get test code. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, answer includes the test code. This test class is using mock of the DB. It's good approach to create testable code. Let's check the code that is generated by Amazon Q developer. This is test code and more up. So yeah, so this reflects domain model. And there are value objects and services. These codes are, of course, these codes are not perfect, but according to DDD practice. 
as we saw in the demo, Amazon Q can generate UMLs and codes that use DDD practices. You can use those as an example of how to implement tactical design of DDD. But you need to be careful because, you know, JNI is not perfect and it has non deterministic nature. Especially, this task is not simple and clear. So each time you may get different answers from Amazon Q developer. So if the answer is different from what you wanted, you need to adjust. Of course, you can use Amazon Q to adjust that, or it's a good idea to retry it a few times, and you can then choose the best answer from multi result. As a next step, I recommend using TDD, test driven development. Of course, Amazon Q developer can also support you here. So we have resolved the first and second difficulties. Now let's think about how to resolve the third difficulty. Okay, as we saw with the other difficulties, the Amazon Q developer may be the best teacher for us. Let's go ahead and ask them. But unfortunately, Amazon Q developer may not provide you with a good answer by default. Why? Because by default, Amazon Q developer only uses the file that is currently open in your IDE as a context. So Amazon Q developer can't determine what web application framework is used in your project. Is there a limit of Amazon Q developer? Don't worry. We have a new function to resolve that. I want to introduce the at workspace function. That is a beta function of Amazon Q developer. By using at workspace in your prompt, Amazon Q developer can use your workspace as the context. So by using the at workspace function, you can get answer from Amazon Q developer on how you can combine DDD practice and your web application framework. Let's see that in the demo. At first, let's try to ask what framework is used in this project. This project is a very simple Spring Boot application generated by Spring Initializer. But as you can see, Amazon Q developer can't detect that. So it's time to enable the at workspace function. To enable that, you should send at workspace to Amazon Q developer chat and check check checkbox in these settings. Because at workspace function creates an index of our project, we need to wait a few minutes for that to complete that to complete. After the next after the index is created, you can ask same question using at workspace in prompt. So as you can see, this time Amazon Q developer can detect what web application framework is used in this project. This time it's Spring Boot. So let's ask how we can combine DDD practices with this web application framework. Yeah, of course using at workspace. So, okay, we got the answer that is tailored for web application framework that is used in our project, our workspaces. Of course, it's time, this time Spring Boot. Okay. So let's summarize the key points from my session. You can use Gen AI Assistant as a teacher of DDD, but notice, same as a real teacher, JNI is not perfect. You should learn about DDD and modeling by yourself. And eventually, you have to be able to judge yourself. For that, let's go through trial and error. It's best way to learn is doing yourself. And DDD is not a silver bullet either. For example, a simple application may not match well with DDD. Of course, you can also get support from the Amazon Q developer to build those simple applications. Let's choose right tool for the job. This concludes my presentation. Thank you very much. Please enjoy the rest of this crazy event. Thank you.